Well, good morning YouTubers on another beautiful spring day and we're heading out today just to pay a visit to a old biking friend, Johnny Springer named such because he has a Harley Davidson CVO Springer that means that the front suspension is based on the old Springer system. It's quite complex and I get to film it depending on how he's feeling. We've just arrived at Johnny Springer's and this is why he's got his name. What a beautiful bike. Our CVO custom spring it fantastic paint job on it there's a spring of front end he's on his boats in the background he's a big fan of sailing boats remote control of course hasn't ridden for a while Johnny and he doesn't uh, don't think he intends to ride again so anytime soon but anyway it'd be nice to see him last time I saw him was probably Boxing Day on Christmas so it's been quite a while Coming to grips now with the uh, Turismo Veloce, getting to uh, understand its little quirks. So I've got a few pet hates though. And one of the pet hates is that when the sun is directly behind you, you can't actually see the TFT, which is a bit annoying because all your information, speed, is just blanked out by the, the sun reflecting on the screen now. I might try a, a Speedo Angels flat matte screen cover just to see if that will help any. I've actually change the screen from day to night so the figures are actually white on black uh, it, it's better for riding but like I say the, the sun is a big problem maybe there's a, a visor you can get or otherwise we'll have to rig something up that's one of my pet hates the, the other pet hate I have is the clutch noise. Now I've spoken to MV Augusta dealer Bennett and they assure me that the clutch are noisy on the MVs. So I guess it's something I'm going to have to live with unless I can find somebody who does modified clutch springs or a different clutch all together. I mean these are nothing that you can't live with but when you get a, a bike that's different to you you tend to know, know, notice all these little quirks. So that's uh, now the other pet eight I have is obviously having to lubricate chains. Now there's nothing I can do about that because at the end of the day it's a chain driven motorcycle and you've got to do the maintenance. But when you've been 
used to shaft and belt drives you tend to miss the maintenance free aspect of those systems but again it's it's nothing that would stop me buying the bike it's just one of those little things that niggle sometimes but other than that there's not much I don't like about this bike the windscreen could be a little bit taller for me and maybe we'll investigate getting a, a, a touring type screen there are a few available in fact the new 2021 Turismo Veloci has a totally different screen on which gives you a bit more wind protection so they've obviously uh, had complaints from customers that the windscreen isn't big enough I mean it is adjustable but it still doesn't offer I mean the adjustments only about inch inch and a half in old money I mean it helps a little bit but not a lot but other than that I like the bike and I'm really enjoying the bike a few more miles in but comfort wise no problems at all I find this bike really comfortable bars are at just the right position for me I've got a kind of crook elbow that gives me limited movement and these bike bars are absolutely perfect for that the seat is comfortable I have no problems at all with the seat and even in the positioning of my legs is fine and I'm really comfortable for quite a you know a couple of hours which we usually stop off at anyway if we're riding with the unhurried because we like a cup of tea now and again we'll be out with the unhurried tomorrow not quite sure where we're going yet but we'll be doing a day's ride good to get together with the guys again this kind of year we like to get out as much as we can because you never know what the summer's going to be like in England we seem to get the nice weather earlier on in the year these days although this year might be different let's hope so I do feel kind of special owning an MV not many people do some say for good reason but so far the bike's been absolutely fine I mean I bought it second hand with 18,000 miles on it I'm just coming up to nearly 19,000 now so getting close to a thousand miles uh, and we've had very few problems with it I do love that quick shifter 